right here is something very rare. Today we're at a old Blockbuster video in Andover, Kansas. And I'm really excited and I'm passionate about Blockbuster because <laughs> I used to work there. Awesome, look he has on his shirt. Yes. Make it a Blockbuster night. Yes. Man, I wish we still had Blockbuster, especially now that with the quarantine and everything. We've been watching a ton of movies. Of course, now we can get them all on Netflix, so I guess it's the right. midpoint. <laughs> you know, kids today don't know the struggles that we know right. about renting videos. But you know, we used to also rent video games, which was pretty cool, because then you could try out the game before you buy it and see if you like the game. So that was one thing that I did a lot at Blockbuster. Yep. All right, I'm really excited, so let's go check this thing out. Now, what do you notice right off the bat that lets you know that this is a Blockbuster store? Well, that would be the quick drop. <laughs> the quick drop. So, Keith, you worked at a Blockbuster store. Yeah. And where do these tapes end up if I drop my tape into the quick drop? Where does it go? It just ends, uh, well, this one ends up nowhere, but <laughs> the store I was at, it used to end up in a cabinet. And you just grab them out of the cabinet, make sure they rewound and then you would uh, get them back on the shelf so someone else would rent it because you gotta make money. Well, did they have like a basket or like a container or anything or no. they just fell on the... Just fell, just fell into a cabinet and we just stacked them up and just carried them. Okay. Yeah. So what we got here, so you can see the old quick drop says open 24 hours, please insert one tape at a time. All overdue tapes will be charged to account. Thank you. Thank you. Say more movies and, and games, games for, for you. you. Please return them when they're due. Oh, well, that's a clever little poem. All right, so this goes straight into the store, y'all. So we're going to see if we can sort of peek in here. Oh, my. That's some bright colors in there. Now, the table and chairs don't seem like they belong in a Blockbuster store. <laughs> All right, so down here you can see there's a Taco Bell sign. Oh. Some tables. So right next door is a Taco Bell. So we're assuming that the landlord that owns this empty building also owns that building. That's a reasonable assumption, I think. Yeah. So they have a lot of Taco Bell remnants, boxes and things like that. Unfortunately, one thing we've noticed is that almost all the windows have a reflective covering on them. So it's hard to get a good glimpse inside, but some of the things we can see here at the entrance are, you can see the old inner stickers with the uh, blue and yellow. Yeah. And inside, no checks accepted at this location. No, don't be paying with a check. No checks accepted. It's kind of hard to see, but in there you can see the, uh, the security things you had to walk through when you were walking out to make sure you didn't have any of the, uh, the uh, tapes or games hidden because if you did, if you notice here, shoplifters will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. They didn't play here at Blockbuster. So Keith, did the tapes have like a sensor inside or something in the container that would trigger the alarm? How did that work? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> because if you, if, you, if you remember the old tapes, like if you looked at the actual tape on top, there were like two clear areas where you'd actually see if the tape was rewound or not. Okay. One of them we put a sticker on that said Blockbuster on it, but it actually had little like security things in it. So oh. it was very thin and it was just a sticker that was on the tape. So if you carried the tape out, then it would uh, set off the uh, security alarm. Okay, now we know. All right, Keith, the Urban Explorer. We have found that when you're looking inside windows, it's just, it works better to use your phone. The camera just seems to work better because you can hold it flat against there. Can you see anything, babe? Really not much, just empty. Built blue walls, got some blue carpet in the back and tile in the front.
Does this bring back memories of the good old days, Keith? Yeah, it's really sad, but it does bring back some good memories of uh, some good times during college. That was one of your first jobs. It was one of my first jobs, and it's probably one of my favorite jobs. And it was your job when we were dating and when we were engaged, and even when we were first married, you worked at a Blockbuster right. store. Well, we brought one of our stickers, AKA our 80s life. Since we've been urban exploring here today, thought we would put them down in the old quick drop. <laughs> All right. I hope you returned it on time. Well, it's a cassette tape, but close enough. <laughs> hope I don't get any late fees. There it goes. AKA our 80s life was here. <laughs>